Welcome back to my channel guys. So today is the day where we are starting to do the cabinets. So when I was making the templates at first I tried to use I tried to cut foam for it first and I used the box cutter to do that. Unfortunately that didn't work because the foam was three quarter inch thick and the box cutter wasn't just not long enough to go all the way through and slice it nicely. So Jed and I went to the store and we got a knife over here. And we also got this precision knife set over here. And so um, hopefully that will cut the foam. That way we'll be able to go all the way through like this and then we'll just slice it. Hopefully it will work. Okay, so we got this knife and I've tried it earlier, but it's not quite works. It like, yes, I can get it all the way through, but it's very hard to cut it. And then when I do it halfway through, the rest just kind of breaks off and leaves it like that. So that's a no-go, but we have a knife now, which is kind of cool. And then we also got this thing, and this thing works. It's a slice. You go from the top and you slice. Mm. Yeah, that works a lot better than the knife. A lot smoother. Look at that. Yeah, so we're going to use that to cut our foam. After looking at your technique though, I kind of want to try it with a knife now. Mm. Nope, yeah. not doing that sound. No, no. Not doing that sound. <laughs> that sounded horrible. All right, so now we're gonna set up the station where we're gonna trace everything and start cutting. actually very hard and I'm glad I'm not doing that because I would probably be cutting myself by now okay so all the film is cut and ready to go uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna um, put it all together we're gonna tape it first to make sure it all fits just like I did yesterday we have the templates um, and then mark spots where we need to cut I know we'll need to cut some of the shelves to fit the ribs and we also need to cut some of the walls to go a little bit shorter because I know we cut them a little bit too long. Um, so this is probably shared in the last video, I don't remember. Uh, the design of the cabinet, it's kind of hard to read but it's all numbered so each wall and each shelf is numbered and it's I color coded a little bit because we're gonna have three pieces to it. I might change it a little bit to make it easier um, but we're gonna start putting it together. Each um, shelf and wall is numbered and it has a dimension on it so that way I know which shelf and which wall goes there and stuff. So we're gonna get started on it. That's smart to put the dimensions in there too. cabinets and no, it's kind of hard to see because my new lens it's not wide enough but it's not perfect yet it's just kind of held out by tape so it's falling apart but we get the main idea there's a few adjustments we need to make still to make it perfect we need to cut down a few shelves a little bit shorter and then redo some things but once we do that we'll be able to start gluing it together which will do tomorrow. Guys, oh, sorry. If I seem kind of close to the camera, it's my lens. I'm actually pretty far. Well, not super far, but anyways. Um, 
Today we are actually going to start building the actual cabinets. You already saw how we cut the templates and we put them all together. They kind of fell down already, but um, we'll need to trim a few pieces and recut one of the pieces. So that's what we're going to do now. And once that's done, we are going to start um, gluing it all together. We're rolling. three piles we have this pile which we need to recut this pile that we need to trim and this pile is all good we're gonna start with trim yeah 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 The last pieces and then we're actually gonna go back in the van and put it all together again so we can mark where the wood piece is gonna be on the on the ribs and the connectors and stuff and we'll mark those and then we'll cut those pieces out and then we'll glue it and then we'll glue everything together right mm -hmm. is that what we're doing that's what we're doing out of shot Okay, so all the cuts are made, all the cuts are made, and now we're gonna put it all back together again with the tape and uh, make sure everything fits perfectly again and mark the spots where we're gonna put the wood pieces and then start um, cutting the little spots for wood and then gluing everything together. together in the van I forgot to film the finished product what it looks like so I'm sorry for that uh, we took it apart already we're gonna do some more trimmings on it we found a few spots we're gonna trim we also mark the spots where we're gonna put the wood in there so we can attach that to the walls and stuff like that a few people said in the comments um about doing templates is a waste of time or asking why are you even doing templates just cut it out straight well, the reason for that is when you make mistakes or your measurements are quite off or you want to fix something, if you build the cabinets right away without triple checking and doing templates, then you would have to redo it if there is a mistake. So with us, we redid it twice. We found, you know, we build it, we found a few mistakes, we trim it, we build it again, we found a few more that weren't visible before. So that's the whole reason for doing templates. We've really taken our time with measurements and templates and drawing it out. So when we actually start gluing it and building it together, we don't have to redo it. Because once you glue that form together with the Gorilla Super Glue, wood glue, there is no going back. So that's the whole reason for doing templates. Yes, it's taking a little bit longer, 
um, then we want to, and it's a long, tedious process, but at the end it's worth it because our cabinet is going to be perfect, it's going to fit perfect, it's going to be no imperfections, and it's going to be amazing. Okay, we set everything up, so now we're going to start trimming a little bit, right? Yeah, I have a few pieces to cut, and after that... So we build the first cabinet um, together. We make sure it's perfectly straight and perfect size and everything. Now we're gonna glue it because we know we don't need to cut that cabinet at all anymore. Oh, step off, please. So <clears throat> we're gonna use, ow, oh, once I get this tape off. Okay, so we're gonna put gloves on because you wanna protect your beautiful hands from gluing it together. Then, excuse me, we're using this Gorilla uh, glue and it's wood glue, right? No, it's all purpose. Original Gorilla glue bonds virtually everything. So we're using this glue and we're using screws and we're gonna glue together and then we're gonna put screws for the foam to hold two pieces together while it glue dries. And we're gonna just leave them in there for strength, I guess. Um, and yeah, so that's what we're doing right now. You gotta do it three times for good luck. Oh, good luck. Hopefully I'm getting lucky tonight. <laughs> <laughs> we actually decided to put these two pieces together now because we thought about it and they're gonna fit for the double doors just fine. So we glued them over here together and now we're adding some support bars in the back to help it glue better and just so it's a little bit stronger. Um, yeah, they're not gonna be on the way or anything. So we just wanna make this thing as strong as possible. Um, and it's gonna be super strong and super lightweight, which is awesome. And our whole van is gonna be like a lot lighter than normally would be because we're not using any wood or very little wood. Mm -hmm. So, but yeah, this video, we're gonna end it here tomorrow. We're gonna start putting wood in here for the hinges and stuff like that and uh, screens and paint and all the fun stuff. Um, so yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to um, leave me a comment down below, like, subscribe, check out my links in the description. I'm gonna be putting links to some of the stuff we used here for the build down there as well. And I think that's it. Yeah, I really hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you guys next time.